Good morning. We're going to Hollywood Studios. Jenna and Bill left. We packed up our cars. You can go look at the photo then. Yeah. Hey, Sarah. Good morning. Grant's eyes are swollen. <laughs> He had a allergic reaction to something. We're not sure what, but he's got an ice pack. So we're gonna take the bus in 16 minutes, but they're gonna go look at a photo of Sarah and the girls and their, her parents when they were young. We're all packed up, we're out of our two bedroom. We're going to our one bedroom tonight, and it's like 11.30, 11.10, and we have a date. Hollywood Studios ahead of us. It'll be good. Okay, you just walk right into Olivia's. This is family album. If you ever want to come and take a look at the picture, you head straight in. One, three. The one in red? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one red, yeah. yeah. Wow, nice. And there we are. Nasty. Another one, and my other daughter went home already yesterday. Yeah, so it's super easy to find, and we actually. We're talking to a manager who did the college program the same year that we did. We did quick service at Typhoon and Pussy's Corner. Um, so yeah, if you ever want to see it, like take a picture and send it to us. That would be super cool. It's right in Olivia's. Because what he does when he gets hangry, I'll buy fifty dollars worth of food. He buys fifty dollars worth of food for him and Christina. So he, I had, I had a whole brisket because Sarah got the grilled cheese, I got the brisket. We each split half and half. He gave me one of his briskets because you got a brisket, two tachos, grilled cheese, bunch of potato rolls. Delicious. Tomato soup is delicious. Delicious. It's like jardinera and it's so good, so good. I didn't have any because olive oil messes with me. Sorry. I still have olive oil, but not like this is like a pool of olive oil. The brisket though was by far the best thing. So good, Second, one of the best brisket. I think the brisket was number one for me, and then the the lunchbox tart for the chocolate was the next best thing. To be honest, the briskets usually are like super greasy and kind of like a turn off, but this one was. It was still greasy, but not as bad. But but it was like good greasy. It was like the right amount. But I'll tell you, Sarah and I got one pop, one drink. Two meals, like average meals, and it was twenty six dollars. So it's a little bit pricey, but it was good. But we're on vacation. Yeah. Look, he's about to get set up with the baby. I look like Alan from The Hangover. That's what you were saying about me. I know, but now I look like it with the glasses. With the glasses. His eyes are looking better. <laughs> that last one, though. 
Look at me, there's a black eye. <laughs> Wardrobe trans for Vivi and step to the daddy o. We're dancing with the rain in the best way. Like we went into one man's dream to enjoy that and watch the Incredibles 2 preview. It poured while we were out. It looks like it might still rain, but we're about to get in line for Frozen to get some more AC and just hiding from the rain to our fast passes. There's a lot of stuff here that um, they it's haven't done. Yeah. Like, they haven't been here in four years, so it's a lot of new stuff. Update on my eye. It's getting better. It's getting better. I'm Aria! And I am Sir Eric! Oh. Help but overhearing your story. Oh, and we couldn't help but over smelling you. Oh, seriously, dude, people are gonna start thinking you're a reindeer. Yeah, that's right. He stops Hans and kisses Anna. That's right. The talking snowman is the one actor of true love that can thaw a frozen heart. Time for our Toy Story Mania Fast Pass. <laughs> this is still part of the, the, the new exit. Look at that. Look at the barrel monkeys. The big, that, that's fun for a little kid. Oh, this is the new Instagram. Pack. Oh, is this? No, pack. Oh, this one. Yeah. Popsicle stick wall. Uh oh. Please. Let's play. I'm still having a hard time getting used to seeing that. Okay, we, we found Sue and Violet, but we're in real, villain, real vogue because they haven't seen this since it switched. Look at this massive Lotso. They're fighting if Happily Ever After or Fantasmic is better. Fantasmic is better. Yeah. It's so I seen good. Fantasmic, but the Magic Nothing. Kingdom one. <laughs> <laughs> we were saying that we feel special because this is where they used to make all the sweets. And now they don't make them. Well, we can still be there. Oh my gosh, look at these like cute little parachute guys. This is what happens when you bring your baby for the first time to Disney World. No, this is what happens when two days before you go to Florida, you roll your ankle walking down the stairs, and then the third or fourth day you're in Florida, you get hit with a foul ball and you have a minor little baseball game. On the, other the baby's the baby's doing good though. Okay. <laughs> no. The lizard catcher has been successful. <laughs> Back into the wild. A young prince lived in a shining castle. He would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. She really is a 
guess for dinner. Well, keep it simple. What are you talking about? What's going on? Thank you so much. You just gave us these Toy Story cupcakes. Christina and Grant and Violet went to the baby care center because it's supposed to be like heaven on earth in there for, for parents because it's real rainy and humid. Perfect timing once again. We were in Beauty and the Beast while it downpoured. We left Beauty and the Beast and now it's not, but it's just humid and muggy. So we're taking a little break, snack break. I'm not one bit hungry, but I'm about to not. <laughs> His favorite thing to do. <laughs> Come on, let's eat you, Bucca. <laughs> What's that from? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he starts playing uh -huh. the drums. When the Muppet Store has absolute no care for your feelings regarding the elimination of the great movie ride. We're teaching Violet the, the old ways of studio. Do not stack props. Return to props. This is from Streets of America, Violet. This is from the Osborne Dancing Life Festival. <laughs> This is from the great movie, right? Uh, <laughs> We're teaching her all the old ways of studios. And I was like, this is from Streets of America. <laughs> Look who we found! Hey, Lucy Pearl. <gasps> you see that baby? Hi, baby. These two are here too. Isn't she cute, Chewy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a little confusing. We had a quick little gathering of friends to meet Chewbacca. No, Grant has to go on rock and roller coaster. Grant, how do you feel? I <laughs> <laughs> he never knew anything about the ride until he just saw the blast stop over there. <laughs> Grant is a baby. First time ever on Rock and Roll Coaster. He gets to go back to back to the child swap. How was your first ride? It was good. I, uh, it was good. I liked it. It was a little short. Yeah, they it's have fast. To, they need a double. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four. Row four. I'm gonna row up. We heard a rumor from a friend that row four is right where the, the, the mechanism is that blasts you off. Okay, so I don't know if the fourth row is the biggest launch, but I'll tell you what, I freaked out the entire ride. Almost didn't enjoy it. I was holding myself so tight in the same spot with my leg against the wall because during the launch, both my cell phones flew out of my pocket behind my, like underneath my back end. I'm battling nauseousness. He's, right he's gonna throw up. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. Like, the most way before, yeah. The very first one. She is living the dream. We're tapping out. We decided we'd be more enjoyable at the hotel instead of struggling through Fantasmic. <laughs> and Peter volunteered to carry Grant. <laughs> Exit magic. Ready to roll. Alrighty, we're in our new room now. We're gonna do a quick little room tour. Welcome home. Okay, this is the entryway. Living room. So that pulls out and this pulls out. Another eating area. The kitchen. Nice big. Guys, I'm always bad at Nice big balcony that also goes to the bedroom. Can't really tell. Okay, we do have water. Oh, you can see. Let me. Oh, you can see the hot air balloon at Disney Springs. Switch to the phone because I ran out of battery. I'm assuming this could be to another, like maybe a studio to have like a two bedroom lock off. Nice hallway. Laundry. Ironing board. Florida Keys, and then a nice big bedroom, chair, TV, out to the balcony, same thing as the other one, nice big bathtub, and then inside here is a shower and the toilet. <laughs> So basically it's just the same as the two bedroom. It just doesn't have the one bedroom off to the side. Um, I think they're on their way in. Me and Peter got here a little bit sooner than everybody. He's getting everything situated to come upstairs. I'm gonna turn on Stacy. They're coming in! Guys, so have we given an update since? Yeah, we got in. Oh yeah, you give the tour. tour. Now, there's only 45 minutes left, but we're gonna go swimming. And the baby's sleeping and now we don't know one bedroom. It's kind of difficult because the only bathroom in there is attached to the master bedroom. And so we're actually going to change down there. But it's fine because we can change down there, grab our towels down there, rechange out of there. It'll be fabulous. Mm -hmm. Christian and Grant say they're meeting up with us in the pool, so we'll see if that happens. It's already 10, 10, 10, 15. And the pool closed at 11, we're pretty certain. So we'll see. It'll be relaxing. All right, the main pool. Close. Was closed. Closed at 10. It's 10:27. So we're taking a little walk around the block to see the first, the closest quiet pool or leisure pool to see. We think those are posted till 11. We've also heard rumors that they actually don't come kick you out. We made it. It's open till 11. So we about to hop in this and enjoy ourselves for as long as we'll, they'll allow us. So uh, Christine and Grant went back to the, the room a while ago. But it's quarter to midnight, and so even though the sign says it's closed till 11, because this They're laundry open room, until. open till 11, this laundry room is, is supposed to have 24 hour access and there's no door on the outside. I was just telling Sarah, they like, think of Saratoga Springs, they have a door right here by the pool and on the other side, so you could access it from outside the pool. I think that's why secretly Old Key West quiet pools are like, yeah, like secretly on. 24 hours. Yeah. Like you're not supposed to be in there past 11, because it's closed, but there was a cast member in here cleaning and they didn't say anything, and then we're not the only ones. We have five, four people in the hot tub, three people in the pool. But we did find a list online too that talked about it. It was a little It was on outdated, Discords, it was but, from three years ago. Uh, but, but still, it's just general knowledge, and yeah. obviously we wouldn't do anything that was unsafe. Yeah, and if a customer came by and asked us to leave, we obviously would. Of course. I thought we were about to, but we were planning on getting out anyway, because we gotta go back and edit, and I'm gonna edit this one tonight, since there's been a trooper the past couple days. Um, staying up to the wee hours to get it edited and exported. But, we're gonna head to bed. We're gonna head to bed. Tomorrow's our rest day, so we're gonna yeah. just relax in pools. And we love this Eve in springs. Is, Eve is moving from one yeah. family to another. So I get to see Eve. Well, we both you're gonna come with me, right? We're both gonna go get her and bring her from one friend to another. So we'll get to see our little puppy just for a little bit. Yeah, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. 
And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>